Look, Mom, I drew you a picture. Yeah, honey, that's nice. Mom! Girl, what? <sighs> Look at this. I have no words for this. Why don't you go find some place in the garage go hang that up? Dad, how do you like it? Look at this mess. Aren't you in the sixth grade? Yeah. This is like third grade work. Why are you telling her that? This is art. It's all about how she feels. Mm -hmm. It's fine for the garage. Girl, go find a hook to hang this up. Mm. Why can't I hang this in here? Mm -mm. You people didn't even come to my art exhibit that was yesterday. You know what? We had something else to do. And if you're gonna hang this up, I'm glad we missed it. Y'all people never come to any of my things. Why are you being so dramatic? I'm sure plenty of parents didn't show up. People gotta work. Draw something decent and then we'll have something to go to. You people make me sick. You people? Girl, you got no more time to say you people. Go to your room. Thank you so much for allowing us to put a camera in your home so we could really capture what's going on in the home. Mm. And we did that, right? Yeah. yeah. But before we talk about that, what's going on now? More of the same. Okay. I just don't understand. You know, I was always energetic and always trying to do really good work and uh, make my parents proud. And I just don't understand what that mess was. Okay. I just, I don't, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that child has no talent at all. I just, I don't, I don't know where it comes from. It must come from your side of the family. No, not mine. Yeah, it must. Mm, no. Because <laughs> you know, we were pretty good at artwork, so. Okay, mm -hmm. what else no. is going on you know, She's always fussing at the kids about stuff. I mean, she at least look at the thing and try to help her out. I don't, I don't understand. You were the one that made her feel bad and told her that she did third grade work. Well, okay. it just looked a mess to me. All right. So you said you were always energetic. Are they not energetic? No. You know, I, I try to motivate them to do more and to to get more into their schoolwork. And and, and 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 our boy, I try to talk to him about getting into sports. He's not interested in anything. We used to always want to play outside and ride our bikes and rip and run outside. These kids don't want to do that. Nothing. What are they doing instead? Oh, just I sitting don't know. around. Mm -hmm. Video games. Mm -hmm. What is and that? Playing on their phones? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, let's, when we think about the tape, can you think of anything that you see that you may be doing on her that might? Um... I know she bothered me. I was in the middle of something. She showed me that picture. I don't want to, I don't want to see that. Okay. That's one thing I noticed. Is that what you're talking about? Well, yeah, you did seem bothered. Yes. Okay, so she bothers you? Yes. And I was in the middle of doing something, too. I was on my phone because I had something I needed and to she's do. She's always on her phone. Oh, okay. So yeah. you were a little distracted? I wasn't distracted. I was focused on what I was doing. I think okay. she distracted my wife. Okay, so she distracted your wife. Yes. Okay. Yes, exactly. Thank okay. you. Yes. So, but... Is there anything else you can think of just from watching that, you know, for example, um, I think you said, look at that mess. He said that. It was a mess. Oh, he she said. She wanted her to hang it up in the garage on a hook. Okay, but I noticed that you responded to that when he said that. It was that something that you don't feel he should have said? Well, I mean, it was good enough to hang in the garage. I mean, he shouldn't have said it, it like that. It was a mess. Okay, but... I guess what I'm saying, do you feel that was it was okay for him to tell her directly, this is a mess? Look, we get no. tired. I'm tired. No, it wasn't okay. I'm tired okay. of talking about the same stuff with these kids. Tell me what stuff you're talking about. Just like about. the picture. I've shown her how to draw. I've shown her how to color You have not stuff. shown her how to I've draw. I've shown you her are that stuff before. before. No, I've shown it not. to her. No, you and have not. And when she brought that to me, I'm thinking, really? This is what you bring to me? You She's in the not. sixth grade. Okay. She, knows what she, she knows how to draw. You need to tell the truth. Okay, so tell me what the truth is. Yeah, what is the truth? The truth is he doesn't spend any time I with her. I do. Okay. You do not. I, do. I showed her how to do it. She should know how to do it by now. You okay, did not show her. When did you show her how oh, to do it? Oh, months ago. I'm tired of showing her. 
He <laughs> talks doing... about showing her, but he doesn't actually I'm do it. I'm not going to keep doing that. If he showed her, what would that be? What would he actually do? She's supposed he to get her? it he when would, I show no, it to her. He would put away his stuff, and he would tell her to come and sit down, and he would she ain't putting away her show stuff. her how she to do it. She was on her phone that day. Mm -hmm. Well, I never said away. I was going to show her. Well, then. You did. Then don't suggest You need to put nothing. your money where your mouth is. I don't is. understand what she's telling me to do that she won't do. Okay, but, well, she, she did say it, and it is true. You said you had shown her. She never have claimed that she did that. But that's that's not the most important thing. What the tape is, the um, video is for, is so that you can see yourselves. Take some time and really think I about saw what you her. saw. Yeah, I saw her. I saw her. she was that phone. No, so no I was no, on that no, no. phone. I saw that. So you can see yourself. Thank you. Oh, okay. I can see her. Look at yourself. I know, that's true. That's, Look at yourself. That's very easy to do, to see the other person. Yes. Which is why I want you to see yourself, because you can't see yourself unless you're outside of yourself. Which but is if what it's this third is grade work and she's in the sixth grade, what am I supposed but to say? But you should not have told her that. Excuse me. What I'm trying to get you to re realize is what are you doing? What could you do differently? Even if you had to tell her that, you know, this is not really the best you can do. I should have told her yes, she could do better. Yes, what could you do differently? Tell her she could do better. Well, that, I, that might have been better than this is a mess. Let's do it like this. Supposing, do you have a project you're working on at, at your job? Always. Okay, yeah. so you have a project. Yes. And um, let's just say that it's brand new. You don't know anything about it, right? Okay. But you're here, you're making efforts to do it. Maybe your supervisor showed you mm, once or twice how to do it. And so he comes in and he looks at, this is a mess. This is a real mess. Go take this mess away from me. How would you feel about that? I would be uncomfortable. Okay, are you sure? I wouldn't like it. Oh, wouldn't like it. It's getting a little stronger. What, what, really, what would you feel? He must get a lot of that because he comes home irritated and angry at I me don't, every I day. I a lot of that. This house it has nothing okay. to do with my job. Okay, just hold on. I'm still trying to. Let's get to it. So you would feel a little upset, maybe? Yeah, because maybe he didn't give me enough time to accomplish or make those strides that he's asking me to make. Okay, all right. Whew, Ooh, it took so long getting there. Okay, so uh, what about her? Now put her in the same situation. You're her Ooh, supervisor, her? your daughter. Oh, her. Yeah, don't, don't put me in this. So, you're, you know, you're, you're your daughter's supervisor. And you too, what can you do differently? Just how can you say what you say, maybe differently? Well, you know what I think about? I think it's important to have a safe work environment. And so... That's a good point. You know... That's very good. It's safe. So let me ask you, do you really think that's safe? Well, screaming it at her probably is, is I don't know, I guess it's irritating her or upsetting her. You know what I thought about as we talked about your supervisor saying your work was a mess? That would be very scary for me. Mm. And the reason why... I, my next thought is, are they going to fire me? Mm. What do you think the child's thought is? If you're really this adamant about the little picture she drew, what are her next thoughts? Well, she has to feel like dejected. Maybe dejected. And, and, and disappointed and mm -hmm. hurt. Mm -hmm. And a little afraid that, you know, hey, if a little thing like this upsets them so much, then Maybe, you know, they might decide that they don't want me around at all. Oh, man. Excuse me. Let's just take time to process that. Mm. Because I hear you're getting ready to come back with something. So <laughs> that is very insightful. Don't you think that's insightful? It, it is. It is. And it probably makes her feel like not even trying again. Why bother if right. my parents aren't going to approve of it? Isn't that one of your primary, you know, complaints is that they are so unmotivated. Mm. They don't take risks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you see how valuable this year was for you? Wow. When you know what? Yeah. I want my children to be able to function in this world, not just function, but do well. Right. Without us around. Yes. That's why when she brought it to me, it was something she did on her own, but I looked for more from her. Mm -hmm. But I don't want unsuccessful, unhappy children. No. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So what you want is self-motivated, happy children. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay. So 
Hmm. What have you tried? Have you tried anything to motivate them? Give me two things you've tried. Well, you know what I thought about? Because, um, you know, I was a pretty good artist in school. And mm -hmm. I thought about maybe since he said he tried to show her, which he's not an artist at all. He has never you tried know what? to show her. Yep. But, talking. but I decided, I thought maybe maybe I'll take her and enroll her in an art class. Okay, well, that's in the future. What have you already tried to motivate the kids? Well, you know what? I think, like, I have tried to spend some time with her, you know, just her and I away from her dad and away from her brother, you know, and just try to find out what she really enjoys doing. Mm -hmm. you know, well, she likes art, so I've showed her some real art and try to help her understand this is what it's supposed to look like. Did you hear that? I showed her some real art. Okay. Is that what, you, that what you heard? I showed her some real art. No, this is what I heard. I showed her some real art so she can know that this is what it's supposed and to be. And her art is real art. Art is all about expression, well, what the artist expresses. But I was, excuse me, I was still talking. I'm sorry. Okay, so that implies that what she's doing is not good enough, it's not real, it's almost a waste of time. Mm -hmm. And if she can't come up to the Picasso's level, she should not even be doing art. Because this is what real art looks like. Do, do you see that? Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. It's just the subtle things that we say and how we say mm. that makes a difference for our kids. They tell them so many, you see that word real art. You see all that it says, your stuff is not real. Mm. Your stuff is not good. They can show you how to do it like this. If you can't reach this level, it's not good. Mm. You know what I did too? I also asked her what she liked about her picture. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, I didn't see that on the video, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that in just a few minutes, okay? I just really no, want you to... said. Well, you said, what things have I st tried to do? In the past, oh, you actually tried to do that. Yeah, I, tr I asked her, what did she like about her picture? And what did she say? She told me that she liked the colors. Mm -hmm. And she told me that she just, it just, the way that she had just done it all over the page just gave her a feeling of freedom. Oh, okay. And happiness. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Did you know that? I did not. Okay. okay. But I'm guilty. That's because you didn't ask. I know. Okay. All right. So we don't have to have one upmanship here. Okay. So let's talk about some strategies. Well, for the goal. Let's talk about the goal first. What do you want to happen? Just give me two goals that you want. I want my daughter to grow in her um, talents mm -hmm. and abilities Good. and to be confident in herself and what she can do. Okay. What do you and mean? be self-motivated. That's a good I word. don't want to have to always be the one there. Mm -hmm. I've tried to motivate her. I guess what I'm doing is mm -hmm. just wrong. Okay. It's just not helping her. So, but that's what I want. Well, let's say good, better, best. I don't like right and wrong. Okay. You, I can just do it a little bit better. Doesn't that feel better? You can just do it a little bit better. So here's just a few strategies. We're going to try this next week. Let's let her assess her own art. So you show it, you, you ask her like you did, what do you like? Two things you like, one thing you like to change. Mm. Simple, okay? And let her start really looking at herself. Yeah, that's a good idea to write it down. Okay. And then be kind, but be honest. Children already know when their stuff is a mess. They know if they so have not. So two things you like and one thing you don't like? No, I didn't say one thing. One thing you like to change. Oh, like to change. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, so saying don't like implies that there's something wrong with it, and she okay. might, you know. Now, at first, she's not going to be, she's not going to feel comfortable with saying what she doesn't like, but we'll just keep working it. And then one more, one more strategy. Give honest, positive feedback. Do your very best to be honest, but kind with your feedback. Okay. So you probably won't hear on the next um, video that it's a mess. We won't hear that. <laughs> Well, our time is up, and I think we're going to have a very brief word of prayer before we leave and ask the Lord to guide you as you try these strategies, okay? Okay. Okay. Most honorable Father, we're just so grateful for your healing power in this family. We thank you so much that they have an understanding now that they didn't have before. We ask, Lord, that you would help them to continue to use the strategies, dear Father, and that their family will continue to grow in love and 
kindness towards each other and towards you. So we praise you, Lord, for your healing powers, and we thank you so much for entering into this home. In Jesus' name we pray and praise you always. Amen. 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 All right, thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you next week. All right, thank you. Okay. So, hi, how are you doing today? Fine. We're doing pretty good today. Uh, oh, okay, you seem so much more calm since the last time. Yeah. Yes, we are. Okay, what's going on at home right now? <sighs> Things are better. Much better, better, really? Much better. Much better. better. Yes. 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 Oh, I didn't expect to hear that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what kind of things, are, what's going on that's much better? Just a few things before we go to. Well, um, last time we talked about my daughter's artwork, uh -huh. and uh, she got very good at it, and uh, ended up in a citywide exhibit. Oh, okay, all mm -hmm. right. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. Let's go to our um, our camera work that we did in your home, and thank you for allowing us to come in to see it. So let's look at what what we have. Look, mom, I drew you a picture. Oh, honey, that is so sweet. My little budding artist, you do a picture of our family, your dad and me and you. You got a lot of nice colors going on in this. I really love this red. What's your favorite color in here? My favorite color is blue. Okay. How do you like it, Dad? You know what? This is really interesting. And what I like the most is you made it for us. God has really blessed you with many, many talents. So, honey, what do you like the most about it, and what would you do differently next time? Well, I like the different colors, and maybe next time I will use a bigger sheet of paper. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. What else would you do? Well, I'll have to make it neat for next time. Okay. And the paper's, like, really wrinkled up. What happened with that? Well, I, I kind of put it in my backpack, and... Aw. It just became really wrinkled. Mm. Okay, so you could maybe be a little more organized, a little neater with your things? Okay. You know what I did? I signed us up, me and you, to an art class, and it starts next week. What do you think about that? I can't wait. I'm gonna call my friend. Mm. I just can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. That was awesome. Mm. You guys did such a great job. I mean, I actually saw strategies being used in there. So I'm not going to name them, but you tell me what strategies did you see in there? Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> the non-artist. Mm. Yes. Rub his head for that. He oh, okay. her up for an <laughs> art class. Okay. And he has actually gone to the first art class with her. Well, oh. I saw that she needed some help, you mm -hmm. know, and, and you talked mm -hmm. to me about that before. Mm -hmm. and. Instead of fussing at her and telling her what was wrong, mm -hmm. try to get her some help, mm -hmm. some constructive I, help. Oh, I watched you. You were very constrained. You mm. were like, that's interesting. Mm. You didn't hear that's a mess. <laughs> that was very nice. That yeah. was really thoughtful on your mm. part. It's, it's, it's a hard transition, isn't it? It is. It's, it's a daily thing. You have mm -hmm. to work at it every day. Mm -hmm. and you'll get there. Okay, well, tell me a little bit before we looked at the... Um, video, you were saying something about an art festival? Yeah, it was an exhibit, a citywide okay. exhibit. Okay. And uh, she entered in and they have her um, artwork uh, displayed there. And really? he started out telling her, trying to correct her on things. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, I, and I was going to mention something that I thought should have been corrected. And so my wife looked at me and I okay. thought, okay, <laughs> let me not say that. So Good. I kept my mouth Good. closed. Okay. You know what? It takes a lot of self-confidence to put her art in the exhibit. Mm, it, did. it does. Did you think about that? Yeah, we put it on the refrigerator after that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you put it on Instead refrigerator. Instead of the garage. Oh. <laughs> so I know that she's pretty <laughs> pleased with it. Is it still there? Yes. Oh, well, man. So <laughs> you two have really done a great job. Have you, did you do any celebrating for her art festival achievement? We did, and after it, um, you know, we went and we looked at all the different work and artwork that was there. Uh, went out to eat that evening, and okay. she really enjoyed that evening. And we let her uh, pick where she wanted to go eat. Yes. Oh, I she bet she really felt like really, <laughs> she probably felt very special. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that is so nice. So you guys have gotten the idea of what it means to actually be positive. Now, what about saying more positive things in general? Yes. I mean, actually, um, it's easy when you think about 
you know, art, and you say, because art is so subjective and the mm -hmm. artist puts their feelings and their emotions into it. Mm -hmm. So I started asking her, you know, what do you like about your art? What, what were you thinking about? Oh, you that's know, nice. when you were drawing this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know? And then she just goes on and on and on and on. It's like a flower opening up. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and one thing about that is we I noticed if you feed off of what inspires her, mm -hmm. you know, it's not fake, you know, mm -hmm. you're not just trying to throw a bunch of flowers at her because they can kind of see through that too. Right. So right. I fed off of what was important to her. Okay, that's very nice. You know, when you mentioned that you talked to her and asked her what she was thinking about, that reminds me of art therapy. Have you ever heard of that? I've heard of it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure quite what it's all about. It really is. It's a um, therapeutic orientation in which you actually use art to express the inner feelings. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like you're doing that very naturally so that she can express herself um, verbally. And if she can't, she can do it artistically. Oh, great. So that's Ooh. very nice. Just like you may like um, to listen to soft music, painting may bring those type of feelings for her or drawing, whichever one she likes. That's interesting. I never thought about that because mm -hmm. sometimes when we look at her art, it's just all over the place. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's upset when she's Maybe, you, like mm -hmm. you said, she's expressing her feelings. Well, I mean, you mentioned the last time that she said, you know, it was all over the place, and she said she felt free. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. maybe it's just her way of expressing freedom, that either that she wanted or either she feels it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we never can know unless we ask her, right. the artist. Right. So That's you true. had some specific ideas about what real art was. How is that now? Well, that's changed. You know, I think I was just upset then because I had a certain idea of what her work should look like. Mm -hmm. And that really wasn't fair to her. Um, so I realized that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You know, I just love the Holy Spirit. Mm. You know, sometimes I wonder how can you teach is so much to teach but look at what God did for yes, you. Yes, yes. I mean he just opened, I know your wife was trying to say it um, to you that's what the artist is, what they're feeling but that is so nice that you thought that. It's very interesting because I remember you said you liked art. I love but art. I, he's taking her to the art class so that's very interesting that he's doing it and not you. Do you do anything that you know uh, revolve around art with her too? Well what I decided to do was I decided to take her to like one of the art stores mm -hmm. and we just bought, we just went walked through there and we just bought some of the things that she wanted to okay. do. Mm -hmm. And then um, we came home and then like once a week I'll sit down with her and say okay you know what would you like to draw this week? Mm -hmm. You know what would you like to do? Sometimes it's crafts, it's not always you know mm -hmm. drawing or painting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's crafts and we do that together. All Right, so not only are you spending time with her doing something she loves, you're opening her mind to other artistic means. Right. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, which strategies did you like the best? I think being positive. Even though I might have seen something that should have been corrected, just in mentioning what I saw might need to be changed, mm -hmm. find something more positive and, and dwell on that mm -hmm. and not the negative thing. Okay. For me, it was about appreciating what she liked. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, asking her what did she like about it and appreciating what she liked and appreciating the artist that she is and hopefully will become through mm -hmm. the art classes. Mm -hmm. right. It appears that for you, her being able to express herself from the inside is very important to you. Yes. And that yes. the changes that she make or the way she lives is the way she desires to live from the inside. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. That is really nice. So I wanted to ask you also, what changes do you see in her? Can you, do you see anything specific that's have been changed? Well, you know, one thing, she was always looking for our approval, and I think we pushed her away by our harsh words. Mm -hmm. So now she continues to look for our approval, but now she's coming a little bit more, uh, I guess she's more confident, and now when she comes, she knows we're not going to push her away, right. and we will sit and talk to her and spend some time with her mm -hmm. uh, instead of just pushing her off. Mm -hmm. Or ignoring her. Yes. I didn't like the way I looked in that 
Wow. First video. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank goodness God is a God of second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth ch chance. That's right. Yeah. So that's the beauty of all this is that you can see yourself and you can choose. You can still do what you do right. or you can make a change. Right. You know what I really liked in this second video was that you asked her the question, two things you like and one thing you could change. Mm. And she was really able to target right on some things that she could change. I really like your non-judgmental stance instead of saying, girl, you know this paper is wrinkled. Mm. You just went ahead with it and allow her to go with it. And it, I know it's very hard to not do it, but you went ahead and said, maybe, you know, you could. it can, doesn't have to be so wrinkled. I thought that was a beautiful exchange for her and to be able to accept it. She didn't fall apart, she didn't cry. Mm. And she was, you know, of course, hesitant, but she did a great job. What I do think you think? So. I mm -hmm. think so. Okay. So, okay. so it sounds like the whole family is happier. What personal changes have happened for each of you? Just one or two. Well, you know what? I had to take a long, hard look at myself, mm -hmm. you know, and just kind of step back. You know, once mm -hmm. I saw that first video and, you know, I had to do some self-reflecting and say, mm -hmm. hey, you know what? This is not the message that I'm trying to get across to my children, mm -hmm. you know, disinterested and self-absorbed and, you know, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. And I think I think what helped me is to put myself in her shoes. Mm -hmm. You know, how would I feel if I was there? And you kind of helped me the last time we were here about the example you gave mm -hmm. about my job mm -hmm. and how my boss would, you know, react mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. uh, with my work. So I put myself in, in her shoes and uh, I didn't really like what I saw, uh, uh, just like you said, on that video. So, mm -hmm. you know, we love, we love our children and we want them to do well. Mm -hmm. And so I had to make some kind of a change to help her. Okay. So I was jotting down some of your ideas and here's some of the strategies that you guys came up with on your own, some self-reflecting, thinking about what you are doing and stepping back from what's going on to mm. see how you, your responses are affecting other people. The task of learning to empathize, mm. think about how the other person is feeling, and then your desire to do the best for your children drove you to make a change. Mm. You'll be amazed at how many people actually refuse to make a change. So mm. I'm so happy for you now. I know that you guys have been praying so much more. Yes. Yes, and yeah. so we're gonna just say a very brief prayer and just thank God. I love to thank God for his work, right. okay? Oh, I love that. Thank you, Father, so much for the healing and restoration that you've brought to this home. Dear Lord, please help each of us learn to use the simple strategies that you have at our fingertips to be better parents. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 So you guys have done a great job, and I'll see you next week. Thank you. Parents always want their children to be highly successful. Sometimes the help that you're giving them causes them more problems than it actually resolves. Attempting to prevent children from experiencing difficulties may cause them to experience a lowered self-esteem and out-and-out -out discouragement. So here's a practical strategy. Let them fail. I know that may sound a little difficult, but every now and then, children need to experience failure so that they can learn from it. They can learn how to fix the situation without your help. They can learn that it's not the end of the world if they make a mistake. And most of all, they may even learn to turn to God in prayer to get the situation resolved. So let them fail.